You're jaded. Our chem project is due tomorrow, and we haven't started. Yeah, what should we do? Eh, let's just watch some TV. Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! I can't hear you! Aye, aye, Captain! Oh! Ew, it's a Discovery Channel. But wait, they're playing a biography all about Henry Mosley. Wait a moment, isn't that an atomic theorist that we could be presenting about for the chem project? Henry Mosley was born on 1887 in Weymouth, England to parents both working in science fields. Henry Mosley grew up in a well-educated family, leading his family to enroll him into a private school. Sometime after, Young Henry here thought all his lessons were too easy and began to study physics on his own. Henry, at the age of 19, was admitted into Oxford's Trinity College, where he eventually disappointed himself by graduating with second honors, not the first he had hoped for. In 1910, Rutherford takes Henry into his research group at University of Manchester, hearing that Henry is a very promising physicist. Rutherford is very happy with Henry's research and offers him a research fellowship where Henry is more than happy to accept. <laughs> the real science begins, Henry's scientific discoveries. In 1913, Henry Mosley created this ingenious invention, the X-ray spectrometer. With this, he used X-rays to analyze the properties of elements in a whole new perspective. Henry generated the characteristic X-rays of certain elements and began analyzing them. He would do so by placing elements he wants to investigate into an X-ray tube, shown in the example present. The elements are then sealed into the tube, like so. The two black wires then vacuum out all the air from the spectrometer. He made the use of the effect of energetic electrons when they hit into an element, causing creation of unique wavelengths. The wavelengths led to different reflection angles in the center of the spectrometer. The many wavelengths and reflections were unique to each element. These values allowed for calculations of the number of protons in each element. Henry discovers that the number of protons directly correlate to an atomic number. Henry rearranges the periodic table by atomic number rather than atomic mass, creating a whole new understanding of the periodic table. Suck my protons, Dimitri. What had happened to this promising young man, though? Well, Buddy Henry here thought it was his duty to serve in war, and enlisted into the British Army when World War I broke out. Well, Henry got blasted in the face in 1915, which marks the end of his bright future. Here lies Henry Mosley, the man who changed the world's knowledge on the periodic table, dying at the young age of 27. This marks the end of our documentary. The life of Henry Mosley. Thank you for tuning in. Yo, Jaden, wake up. Let's just hand in this documentary to Mr. Mo. He won't even know we just copied it. Yo. Yeah. Created using Powtoon.